very exciting. It's very energetic. And it's a really good time. Uh, my name is Bobby DeChico. I'm a defenseman for the hockey team and I'm currently a junior. I've been with the team for three years. My name is Marco Panetta. I am a sophomore forward and this is my second year on the team. When I decided to come to Carolina, I realized that they had a pretty decent club hockey team. When I first came down here, I didn't know many people from where I'm from originally, uh, which is New Hampshire. So it was nice to have like that in common with everybody, like most of the team is from up north. Uh, I grew up playing hockey my whole life. I started when I was four years old, so that kind of played into my decision of playing for this team. I tried out for the hockey team, and it was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. With club, you get to have that nice balance of having fun off the ice while also coming to the rink and putting in the work, putting in the time, um, and having some pretty good competition on top of that. I feel like hockey is just like a very new thing for everybody down here. The physicality um, on top of just something new that people can watch, I think that attracts people. Most people get in hockey just because it's kind of violent, but um, I think that it's kind of fun just going to games and just being able to cheer for your school. Big rivalry games get people interested. The first game they go to is typically that game, and then they just keep enjoying it and they keep coming. People come to our games and they get to just express themselves and build camaraderie uh, with all the other fans. They get to tailgate outside, uh, they get to see players walk into the front door. Usually you don't see that. There's just a different level of interaction with like, players and, and fans that you don't get anywhere else. Social media has been like crucial for us. Social media has been everything to this program. That draws kids to come here. Kids that are on the verge of you know, playing NCAA D3 hockey or wanting to have fun and play club hockey and go to a great school. University of South Carolina is a great school and we have a pretty kick butt hockey team as well. That social media crew that was here before me it drew me again to be a student here and also be a player for this team. During my freshman year, uh, we had the COVID year, as people call it, and um, so we didn't have a season. And obviously that was when kind of TikTok was starting to be more prevalent. We really capitalized on the usage of that and just posting like funny videos of us. Even though it was a COVID year, uh, we saw a lot of growth during that period, even though we weren't even playing any games. The relationship is uh, very tight. We're all really close to each other. When we're off the ice, we're always hanging out with each other. Everyone is very, very close on the team. We, we bond together on the road a lot, like eight-hour bus rides, stuff like that. There's a lot of singing going on on the bus, so everyone gets a good laugh out of that. It's, it's more of like a brotherhood than any other sport. It's very energetic. People are very into it, regardless if they know the sport or not. So we play in a pretty small rink. And it feels like it's two to 3,000 people, and really it's only like 600 people. So if you can imagine, uh, let's say like 600 students that have been excited to go to this game, and they're all just screaming. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty loud in there. Like I can't even hear the guy next to me on the bench. So it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. Especially when you can hear people over the, the glass talking to you and, uh, and chirping the other team. It's definitely, you can, you can feel it. <laughs> we put a lot of work into this to make, make sure we're marketing things correctly and make sure we give people what they want to see. So it's, it's really cool. I get to be in that kind of lucky middle ground where I get to experience both sides of what's going on on the ice and off the ice. I, I get to experience having fun with my friends and killing all these, these good teams. But then off the ice, I get to put in time, put in effort to see something that was given to me and grow it to a point where hopefully it's better off than when, where it started. Well, the support means everything because without that, I mean, we wouldn't be able to do the things that we do. It's just, it's just cool to see like you being recognized for something that you've always loved doing your whole life and to see people find joy in it. it really. It's a really satisfying feeling. It's just a bunch of guys just wanting to have fun and continue to keep growing the game of hockey. A hockey is something that is like a part of your life forever, I'd say. The lifelong friends that you make and also the lessons that it teaches you. The fact that we're able to sell out every crowd 
is just is just amazing. Like you go out on the ice and you, you see everybody supporting you with Carolina hockey jerseys. Just the other day, like I saw my last name on a person's jersey. I don't even like know. Like it was just really cool to see like the support that everybody gives us. I think people should know that we're very grateful for what we have achieved in the past years. We're very blessed to have like that type of atmosphere for our team. So we we really appreciate it. There's a lot of exciting things coming to the program that fans should be excited about. It's a very exciting time to be a part of cock hockey and 